what is going on YouTube fam welcome back to the organized millennial I'm Anna and today I am back memory planning with you guys once again today I'm gonna to be memory planning for August 24th through the 30th I'm gonna be using this banana split kit from caress press which is so fun I love the colors I think it's a great summer kind of fall transition kit um, and it's gonna be my last summary kit that you see on the channel so feel like it's my official goodbye to summer you guys and I can't take it <laughs> I can't handle it and I think this is actually the last week of summer I think fall starts next week if I'm not mistaken and it certainly feels like that because I'm freezing right now you guys like it is 67 degrees in my house at the moment which for outside would sound great but for my house is freezing <laughs> this is also coming from someone who doesn't like the cold so here we are but it's fine. It's nowhere near as bad as it's going to get. So let me just build up. <laughs> let me just build up my armor now, basically. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, today I'm going to be finishing up my summer Q&A. So this will be part two of that. And I'm also going to try to talk through some of my plans because there were some interesting things that happened this week. So I'll try to give you guys like highlights as I go through them. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do a complete talk through yet, but let's go ahead and get into the summer questions. Let's see where I left off you guys. So the next question is, I think the last question I answer is, answered was what do you like most about the beach I think so <laughs> the next one is what is your least favorite thing about the beach oh no I answered this one because I think I said sand yep next what is your favorite summertime song oh every as soon as I read this question the very first time the first song that I thought of was wild things or wild wild things <sighs> wild thoughts <laughs> Oh my god um by dj khaled rihanna and bryson tiller um but those of you who know know that that was sampled from maria maria which is amazing and i'm like i don't know if i should give all the props to wild thoughts because really like maria maria made it more of a summer jam it just feels like a summer jam to me y'all know what I'm talking about I'm not gonna start breaking into song now but y'all know y'all know if you know leave a comment down below that's the jam that's definitely one of the songs I think of when I think of summertime so the next question is favorite summertime movie oh um I don't know that I have a favorite summertime movie the first one that came to mind was Sandlot and I don't know if that it's necessarily a summertime movie but it's the only one I can think of at the moment that kind of reminds me of summer because it's baseball themed. Um, and I'm sure it's a very popular movie, so I'm sure many of you have seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Sandlot. That's a classic. I don't think I can go wrong with that one. Um, okay, next question. Uh, where did I leave off? What is your best summertime memory? I think. I talked about this. Clearly my questions are not organized, you guys. Bear with me. Um, what annoys you most about the summer? I don't think we talked about that. There we go. What annoys me most about the summer? Um, the humidity is not great. I think I mentioned that previously. So that's annoying. But I think another thing that annoys me a ton is the bugs, you guys. I can't with the bugs. I don't like insects. I don't like bugs near me. I hate when they're in my house. I'm like, y'all don't pay rent. I'm like, bye. Like, bye. Like, I don't like it. I'm the one that kills the bugs. I know there's lovely, lovely people out there that will <laughs> make it so that they're just out of the house. Like, we'll take them out of the house or we'll somehow find a way to get them out of the house without killing them because they feel bad. I am not that person. I am a bug murderer. <laughs> unless it's too big and then I have to try to get my boyfriend to kill it which doesn't always work and I'm like you have two jobs homie like like two jobs not even you have this one job for right now you have one job and it's to kill all the bugs just kill all the bugs but yeah <laughs> that's yeah that's one of the most annoying annoying things about summer for sure next question is do you spend more money during the summer that's a good question. Um, 
I mean, probably, because I definitely go out more in the summer than I do in the winter because I tend to just be a hermit in the winter. I mean, I'm generally a homebody, but in the winter, y'all know I don't like the cold. So if I don't need to go out and now that hopefully I'll be working remotely, I think throughout at least the end of this year, who knows what will happen next year. But if I'm not even having to go out to work, you guys, like I'm literally just going out to get food, like to go grocery shopping. And that is all (laughs) because, because I cannot, I can't deal with the cold um so I'm basically a hermit in the winter so yes I probably do spend more money in the summer but then there's like Christmas and I feel like what I spend for Christmas is way more than what I spend the entire summer let me get an amen in the comments if y'all understand so (laughs) so that's a hard question to answer I don't know maybe I should keep track of that and get back to y'all I feel like face value, I probably spend more money in the summer because I go out more. But man, Christmas is expensive, y'all. But I'm going to go with yes, I I do spend more money in the summer. That was a very long-winded way to say yes, I spend more money in the summer. Uh, next question is do you prefer to keep longer or shorter hair in the summer? Um, My hair is short anyway, so... I I don't have the option to have like longer hair. My hair has always been short. It's never been long. It just doesn't. I feel like it doesn't grow past a certain length. Like it's like, okay, this is it. (laughs) Throw it in the towel now, girl. This is all you're going to get from me. And I'm like, great. That sounds fantastic. Thanks. Um, Of course, I do yearn for longer hair, but I feel like that's always the case. Whatever we have, we want the other thing like curly hair if you have curly hair you want straight hair if you have straight hair you want curly hair we're just never happy um so (laughs) I've just kind of dealt with it um yeah I've just dealt with it my relationship with my hair is not the best but it is what it is and I'm I'm more content with it now than I have been in a while so we'll take that and run let's just take it and run um (laughs) Next question, and perhaps the last question, is where would you go for your dream summer vacation? Oh, wow. My dream summer vacation. Ooh, um, I feel like I've... Oh, man. It's hard. Like, I want to go to all the tropical islands. Like, I'd love to go to DR, but DR in July is not fun as far as the heat is insane um but I mean I feel like my dream vacation is basically a a Punta Cana resort all-inclusive resort in DR where I can sit by the beach and someone can bring me pina coladas until I say no (laughs) um I guess my other one would be Disney but we've been to Disney and I wouldn't want to go in the summer I don't know that I have a summer dream vacation. I actually tend to not go places in the summer. Um, Like when we travel, like the last couple times that we've traveled to Disney, we go in like February, March. It's great. It's fantastic because then I can, I escape the the cold (laughs) and go to the warmer weather. Like those are my ideal times to travel. So I don't know that I have like a summer dream vacation. I'm just boring like that, I guess. I'd rather travel in the winter months and get away from the icy, cold, seasonal depression that is the winter. (laughs) Um, But yeah, you guys, that finishes up the summer questions. Let me know down below what some of your answers would have been to some of the questions that I answered. I always love reading your comments. They always brighten my day. So go ahead and let me know down below what your summer dream vacation would be. Or do you prefer to travel in the winter too, like your girl? Let me know. So let's go ahead and hop into the plans. Okay, so starting with Monday, I pulled in a page flag from the kit and used a little coffee munchkin from Once More With Love. And the coffee is bay script is from Caffeine and Paper Co. Because coffee is bay, y'all. There's a reason why I got that sticker. Coffee is bay. Um, And then I wanted to just put in a little heart kind of cluster from Honey Inked. And I pulled in a glitter header and a divider from Crafts by Towie for some separation. And then then I just wanted to mark that I pretty much just worked this this day. 
um, wasn't anything really special going on this day. So I pulled in a work header from the kit and a checklist. And the little girl with her laptop is from Oso oh Paper Co., who I highly recommend. She is a black owned shop and her stickers are bomb, y'all, bomb. Love her um, and love that shop. So, and then I just wrote in that I had appointments and I just answered a ton of emails this day. Then I wanted to mark that I did film for the channel. I did film a budget video, so I put in a half box from the kit along with a little girl doing her budget from Caffeine and Paper Co. And the budget time script is from Piper Paper Company. Then I ended up having to go to Target and pick up some meds for my pops. So um, I just marked that with a little Target cart from Piper Paper Co. and a Target trip from Piper Paper Co. as well. Then moving along to Tuesday, I did have an early morning meeting for work, so I wanted to put in a little up early munchkin from Once More With Love, and the Coffee Please script is from Letters to Apollo because it was just too early for my life, y'all. Then I pulled in a little divider from Crafts by Towie, and I wanted to, of course, mark the meeting itself, so I used a little Zoom um, doodle from Once More With Love, and the meeting script is from Planning Roses, I believe. I apologize if you guys can hear my very loud neighbors at the moment. <laughs> the joys of being in a complex. Um, and then I wanted to mark that I did do some cleaning this day, so I used a little cleaning Maru from Paper and Milk, and the tidy up script is also from Paper and Milk. I did cook today, and I can't remember for the life of me what I cooked this day, <laughs> but I pulled in a little uh, chef munchkin from Once More With Love and just a half box from the kit to mark that. Then I pulled in another glitter header and this little heart divider from Honey Inked, and I wanted to mark that I finally started reading Midnight Sun, you guys. Those of you who are Twilight fans, y'all know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, that came out, I think it came out either the week, maybe a couple weeks before. So I picked it up on Amazon and I finally started reading it this day. So I marked that with a page flag from the kit and a reading Maru from Paper and Milk. And it did not take me long to read that, y'all. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> Which I don't know if I should have or not, but I did enjoy it. So um, then moving on to Wednesday, I did go grocery shopping this day so I used a little munchkin with a cart from Once More With Love and the grocery trip script is also from Piper Paper Co. <laughs> and then I wanted to mark that I had a helicopter mom at work so for those of you who don't know what that means let me just break it down for you right quick. So I work in higher ed and we very often have to talk to parents. Um, now you know these students I'm working with are in college and you know they're considered adults. We're talking about 18 and older at this point. Um, and sometimes there's some parents that are just a bit, just a wee bit too much. So um, essentially the term helicopter parent or helicopter mom or dad um, is very typically used in the industry to describe those parents that just hover a little bit too much around their kids. They just kind of hover around and that is where that term came from. So if you guys happen to work in an industry where you can relate to that, let me know down below in the comments because, yeah. So I really wanted to mark that, and I pulled in a little This Is Fine Maru from Paper and Milk because I thought it was just too hilarious to pass up, honestly. Then I pulled in a little work label from the kid because, like I said, this is all related to work. And the divider is from Honey Inked, I believe. And then I wanted to mark that I did do some memory planning this day. So I used a little, the girl planning is from Oso oh Paper Co. And the memory plan script is from Saucy Stickers Co., I believe. Then moving on, oh, no, I forgot one thing. Sorry, y'all. Um, I pulled in a couple of dividers, one from Crafts by Towie, which is the swoosh one. I just like to call it swoosh, you guys. Don't judge me. I know that's not the, the term. <laughs> and a heart honey ink divider from, uh, from Honey Inked, obviously. And I wanted to mark that I did watch Sugar Rush on Netflix. So if you guys are into baking, I love Sugar Rush. There's another show called Nailed It 
on Netflix that seems to do so much better because there's so many more seasons of it. And I'm like, but I don't want to see Nailed It. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Nailed It, both of them are baking shows, baking competitions. Um, And yes, this is what my life has become. And... (laughs) The Nailed It one is basically supposed to be them recreating some beautiful, like, baked good. Um, The problem is it never looks good. And, like, that's the whole premise of the show. And I'm like, I can just do that in my kitchen by myself. I could just make something that doesn't look good. Like, why? Anyways. So, anyway, (laughs) I was binge watching Sugar Rush, which is a competition where you have to make things look and taste good. Um, Usually cakes and cupcakes and confections and things. So anyways, I had a whole Netflix binge. The next Netflix binge script is, I think, from Saucy Stickers Co. I pulled in another heart cluster from Honey Inked. And the Little Munchkin, of course, is from Once More with Love. So moving on to Thursday, I did go to Walmart. So I marked that up top with a little fourth box and a shopping munchkin from Once More with Love. Thursdays is always our staff meeting day. So I marked that with the Zoom doodle and munchkin from Once More with Love again. And I pulled in another divider from Crafts by Towie. And then I used the little movie marquee to mark that um, our orientation keynote because I work at a college and it was orientation week. Our keynote speaker was Patrice Coolers. And for those of you who don't know, she is the co-founder of the Black Lives Matter movement. So I was kind of geeking out, (laughs) not gonna lie. Um, So I put a little, oh my God, happy munchkin (laughs) or happy Maru, I should say from paper and milk to mark that because I was really excited about that. Um, They did it in in kind of a Q and A format, which was really fun. So then I marked that we got takeout with a little munchkin and a box from the kit. And I finished that out with a glitter header. So moving on to Friday, I just marked more coffee. The script is from Paper and Milk. And of course, the munchkin is from Once More with Love. I pulled in a payday script and a payday munchkin because it's payday. It was payday and nothing makes me happier, really, (laughs) than payday. Um, And I love using that payday munchkin. Um, So then I pulled in a glitter header and another heart divider from Honey Inked. And then I marked with a black half box or quarter box um, that this was the night I found out about Chadwick Boseman passing. Um, For those of you who don't know, he is an actor, probably most commonly known for his role in Black Panther, um, but an, an amazing actor who has has played in portrait poor I can't speak who has portrayed so many iconic black figures in history so um it was rough you guys I'm still having a hard time dealing with it it was such a shock to my system it still is it's just so sad um so I marked that with just a sad munchkin um from once more with love And then I pulled in a divider from Crafts by Towie, and I used the exhausted, tired, cranky, all of the above script from Paper and Milk to mark that, along with another kind of sad munchkin there from Once More with Love, because it was just rough, y'all. It was definitely rough. Um, So just to kind of summarize the weekend, because I know I'm running short on time, Saturday was very much a lazy day. I really didn't mark much, except that I listened to Hamilton, the Hamilton soundtrack for the 845 millionth time. (laughs) And then on Sunday, I did some memory planning and some Amazon shopping. And on Sunday night, ABC did a um, special showing of Black Panther because of Chadwick Boseman's death and also did a very beautiful tribute after that, which was just so lovely um, with people just talking about how amazing he was. So rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. I still am having a hard time with it, you guys. Honestly, it's been it's been the most affected I've ever felt by a death by the death of someone that I don't know at all. Literally, it has been the most affected that I have felt. Um, and my boyfriend was like a hot mess because uh, he's such a huge fan of of Marvel and of course of Chadwick. So, <sighs> anyways, you guys. Um, love on each other, get yourself checked out, um, 
and be kind. That's just, this year has just continuously been rough, y'all. It's just been rough, so. All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes my memory plan with me for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you go, and make sure you subscribe for more planning and budgeting-related content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.